Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So I recently uploaded an assignment from Arrays in our interview preparation series and now we are going to discuss the solution to that assignment. If you haven't solved those questions by yourself, please try them by yourself. Those are really easy problems and if you want to know the optimized approach then you can go along with the solution because I will be discussing the most optimized approach and uh, other approaches if they are available. So let's go to the first question. The first question is merge sorted arrays. Given two sorted integer arrays nums1 and nums2, merge nums2 into nums1 as one sorted array. The number of elements initialized in nums1 and nums2 are m and n respectively. You may assume that nums1 has size equal to m plus n such that it has enough space to hold additional elements from nums2. Let us look at an example. So here's the example. In this, the nums1 is given as 1, 2, n3. And there are some empty spaces here. Three empty spaces are available here. And nums2 is given as 2, 5, and 6. Now we have to merge them into nums1. Now you must have heard of something called merge sort. In merge sort there is a step in which we have to merge two sorted arrays. And how do we go about solving that? So we have 1, 2 and 3, 2, 5 and 6. Now we have to merge them into a third array which will be of size 6. In that we use two pointer approach. So we have never talked about two pointer approach in the past. Now I'm going to discuss what two pointer approach is. We are making two pointers, the i pointer and the j pointer. These two pointers are pointing to the first element of nums1 and nums2 respectively. Okay, i is pointing to the first element of nums1, j is pointing to the first element of nums2. Now, the first element of nums1, this is the smallest in nums1 as the nums1 is sorted. The first element of nums2 is smallest in nums2 because nums2 is also sorted. So out of these two elements, one of the element is the smallest element among all the given elements. That is for sure. So we have to see which element is that. We will compare both these elements and we will find that 1 is the smallest. So we are going to insert 1 into the answer and as we are done inserting 1, I will increment the i. Now my i will point to the second element of nums1. Now we have the second element as 2 and we are already done with 1. So now among these two elements, the one which is pointed by i, the one which is pointed by j, one of these elements will be the smallest element among all the elements which are available now. So in this case both are equal, we can take either of these. I will be taking the one which is pointed by j, so I will insert that element into the final answer, 2 here. And now I will increment j because I am done taking this element, so I will just get rid of this one and I will increment my j to the next element which is 5. This is my j. Alright, now among these two elements which are available, uh, 2 and 5, one of these elements is the smallest element available right now. So 2 is that element. We are going to insert 2 and as we are done taking 2, we will increment the i which will now point to 3. This is my i pointing to 3. Now among these two elements which are available, 3 and 5, one of the elements is the smallest element available and that is 3. So we are going to insert 3 to the final answer and then we will increment i similarly. Now the first array is over. Now we are left with the second array and the elements in the second array are already sorted. So we will simply insert them. First we will insert 5, then we will insert 6. And this is the final answer that we have. So this is called merging two sorted arrays. Alright, so we can easily merge two sorted arrays uh, into a third array. We can make a third array that will be of size equal to size of nums1 plus size of nums2 and we can simply merge them. But the similar thing could be achieved by taking two pointers from the end also. So this is the i pointer this is the j pointer. Now these are the two elements and among these two elements one of the element is the largest element among all the elements which are available. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 6. Among these 6 is the largest. So we will insert 6 at the back of the array that we are creating as the answer. Okay, and then we will decrement j to 5. So we can achieve the same result by making pointers pointing to the end of the nums1 and nums2 also. So here we are using the same approach because we don't have to create a third array, we are already given the size of nums1 as m plus n. So I will be inserting from the back. So I will need the largest element to come at the back. Alright, so now let us try to simulate the same on the given example. So we have 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0. This is nums1 and then we have 2, 5, 6. This is nums2. So basically the number of uh, the elements which we are bothered about in nums1 are these only and these are the empty spaces okay these are the empty spaces so then we can accommodate all these elements and all these elements so in total we have 3 plus 3 6 elements and then there are 6 places in nums1 so that we can accumulate everything in nums1 now these spaces are empty so we will start inserting from the end 
now at the end we want the largest element so we are keeping two pointers here the first pointer is i this i pointing to the last element of nums1 this is the pointer j pointing to the last element of nums2 now out of these two elements this 3 and 6 one of the element is the largest among all the available elements all the available elements are 1 2 3 2 5 and 6 so 6 is the largest we know so what we are going to do is we are going to replace this 0 by 6 now we got the last element of our required array that is why we are going to decrement this pointer let us say this pointer was k so now we are going to decrement k now k will come here this is again an empty place here also as we inserted 6 we are done with 6 so we will decrement j j will point to 5 now now we have two elements 5 and 3 out of these two element one of the element is the largest among all the elements which are available now so 5 is that element we are going to replace it by 5 and as we are done processing 5 we are going to remove it and we are going to decrement j j will point to 2 now now again comparing 3 with 2 so we need to compare these two elements out of these one of the element is the largest among all the available elements and that element is 3 so we are going to overwrite this 0 by 3 now we are going to decrement i because we used this 3 so this will be removed from here and now i will point to this 2 now two elements are uh, the two elements available are these two out of these we can take any of the two let us say I'm taking the two which is pointed by i so I will um, now replace now this space got empty right this space got empty because we used the element which was here the element which was here was 3 so we use 3 so this place will be empty now so we will write 2 here and then decrement decrement this i now i will point to the first element okay and this 2 although we won't mark it by 0 we will let it remain 2 but then we can overwrite this position also we will have to keep decrementing k so now k will be pointing to this place okay and now we are left with two elements that is 1 and 2 this is 1 pointed by i then 2 pointed by j out of these this 2 is the larger one so we are going to override this we are going to override this place by 2 there was already 2 but we have to override it again and then decrement j and we are done processing the second array we are only left with the first one now this is our k now k will be decremented this will be our k this is the only element that remains and then we are going to insert one here at this position we are just overriding so this is the final array that we obtained and this is the answer so um, it will be more clear once we look at the code first of all we need two pointers pointing to the last element of each of the arrays so the first pointer is i i is equal to m minus 1 then we have j is equal to n minus 1 then we have k this is the pointer that will point to the last index of the nums1 that is n plus m minus 1 okay so I will have to run a loop while i is greater than or equal to 0 and j is greater than or equal to 0 I will be comparing these two elements if nums of i nums1 of i is greater than nums2 of j in this case nums1 of k is equal to nums1 of i because nums1 of i is greater as compared to nums2 of j and then I will decrement i and decrement k so i minus minus and k minus minus but we can do it here also we can simply do it k minus minus and i minus minus here instead of writing it separately because these are the post decrement operators the value of k will be equal to k here and i will be equal to i here but after the operation of this assignment the values are going to decrement as it is a post decrement so instead of writing it separately you can write it like this also otherwise nums one of k minus minus will be equal to nums two of j minus minus now finally either i will become greater than smaller than zero or j will become smaller than zero so one of that one of the array will be over now only one array will remain so what i mean to say is let us say these are the two arrays which are given to us one of the 
pointer will reach the end other pointer will be somewhere here in between okay so we have to insert all the elements from this array into the final answer so for that I will run a while loop again while i is greater than equal to 0 I will have to do the same operation here nums1 of k minus minus equal to nums1 of i minus minus and while j is greater than equal to 0 again the same thing here nums1 of k minus minus equal to nums2 of j minus minus okay now either this loop is going to work or this loop is going to work because either i will be smaller than 0 or j will be smaller than 0 so if i is smaller than 0 this is not going to work if j is smaller than 0 then this is not going to work all right so I hope it is clear now we will be able to insert all the elements into nums1 during this process and now let's try to submit this it is giving us correct answer talking about the space complexity we are not using any extra space and time complexity is big O of n plus m because we are inserting k elements into the final array okay so if you guys don't know about time and the space complexity you can go to the previous videos I have discussed separately about space and the time complexity analysis you can watch it from there so I want you guys to code this problem by yourself if you have any doubt let me know in the comments if you have any suggestion then also you can comment down below please like the video if you understand the solution and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more such content in future thank you